you're doing everything right. You're eating less, walking more, maybe even intermittent fasting, and yet the fat still stuck around your midsection. You're more tired than ever. Your sleep is off, and your body just doesn't respond like it used to. And this isn't laziness. It's not a lack of discipline, and it's not your age. The real reason is that your body is holding on to fat even when you're trying your hardest to lose it comes down to one major survival hormone within our body. And I'm sure you've heard about it. It's called cortisol. And when cortisol levels are elevated, your metabolism doesn't just slow down, it begins to unravel. You see, your thyroid is the engine that drives how your body burns fat and produces energy. It releases a hormone called T4, but that's just the inactive form. Your liver and other tissues must convert T4 into T3, the active form that tells your cells to burn fat for fuel. But when cortisol is high, that conversion gets blocked. Even worse, your body starts turning T4 into something called a reverse T3, a hormone lookalike that binds to your receptors but does absolutely nothing for you. It's like sticking a fake key in your ignition. Everything's plugged in, but the engine won't turn over. You're left feeling exhausted, sluggish, foggy, stuck in fat storage mode, no matter how clean you eat or how hard you even try. And here's what most people don't realize. Cortisol also suppresses your TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone which is like the master signal from your brain telling your thyroid to do its job. So now you're producing less thyroid hormone, converting even less of it and blocking what little remains. So to make it worse, cortisol triggers a process called gluconeogenesis. And many of you have not heard of this. This is where your body breaks down your own muscle and converts it into sugar. Aha! That sugar gets dumped into the bloodstream. It raises your blood glucose. It spikes your insulin. And now you're storing fat and losing muscle at the same time. You're not just gaining weight. You're losing the very tissue that keeps your metabolism alive. That's why so many people say nothing works anymore. I'm doing the same things I've always did, but I'm gaining fat instead of losing it. You're not broken. You're stuck in a hormonal feedback. This is a hormonal feedback loop. It's a trap that's driven by chronic stress, poor sleep, overtraining, undereating, stimulants, and emotional exhaustion. So how do you fix this? Step one, reset your circadian rhythm. Get outside into natural light within 30 to 60 minutes of waking. Even if it's just for five or 10 minutes, this tells your brain the day I started. It helps regulate cortisol. It encourages healthy production of thyroid stimulating hormone. And step two, protect your adrenals in the morning. Don't reach for caffeine before eating. If you're already burned out and don't skip breakfast if your system is depleted. Step three, support your thyroid nutritionally. Did you know that just two Brazil nuts a day gives you the selenium needed for T4 to T3 conversion. Get zinc from pumpkin seeds or shellfish and only use iodine in natural forms like seaweed. Too much can definitely backfire on you. And step four, protect your lean muscle. Resistance training two or three times per week helps preserve your metabolic engine and signals to your body that it's safe to burn rather than to store. Step five, rethink fasting. If you're thyroid suppressed, don't push aggressive fasting protocols. Start with only 12 hours overnight and slowly increase it as your body starts to adapt. And now, step six, and this may sound odd, but I want you to try this tonight before you go to bed. I want you to gently press your tongue against your inside of your left cheek and hold it there for about 10 seconds. Now switch to the right side and hold it again. Do this four or five times. What this does, it activates your hypoglossal and vagus nerves, which send signals directly to your parasympathetic nervous system, helping shut down your stress response and lowering cortisol. 
It's not a trick. It's a neurological reset. And when you do this consistently before bed, this will help calm your body and support deeper repair. It's subtle, but powerful. Once cortisol begins to drop, your thyroid can start converting T4 to T3 again. Your metabolism begins to recover. You stop converting muscle into sugar. Your insulin stabilizes. Your energy returns. Your body finally feels safe enough to release fat. Remember, your body isn't fighting you. It's protecting you. But when you send the right signals of safety, the protection ends and healing begins. This is how you shift from survival mode to fat burning mode. And it doesn't require starving yourself or killing yourself in the gym. It starts with rhythm. It starts with real nutrients. It starts with calming the chaos. And sometimes it even starts with your tongue pressed against your cheek. Your body already knows how to heal. Now, finally, it has permission. I hope this video serves you well, and I hope it can make many positive changes in your life. And I ask you to please share it with your friends and family so you could be helping them as well. Please leave your comments below, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.